Hello everybody and welcome to Drew in the Moment. We are here in Plant City, Florida for the yearly Strawberry Festival. This thing is so awesome, man. Uh, they have entertainment, they have livestock, they have rides, and of course, a bunch of strawberry shortcake and food around the uh, fairgrounds area. This year's festival is gonna run February 29th till March 10th, so make sure you get over here. Uh, it is $15 at the door to get in for adults. Uh, I just wanna let you guys know, if you wanna save five bucks, go over to your Publix and you can get $10 tickets over there, which we did for the, uh, for the video today. But without further ado, let's show you guys around the Strawberry Festival. Let's go have some fun. And here we are on the ground at the Florida Strawberry Festival. As you can tell, I'm just showing you guys a little part of all of the food and they have a dog show over here that we're gonna check out later in the video, so make sure you hang tight. But right now, what are we doing, Queen V? We're gonna go and make our own strawberry shortcake. Oh yeah, at Publix, I actually bought this. It is It was $5.50 and you get to make your own strawberry shortcake. So I thought that'd be fun. That's so fun. Well, because last year we just got strawberry yeah. shortcake, which was fine. But if you don't want to make it, obviously you just get it. But if you want to have fun and make your own, I think, be fun. I think it's going to be a good time. So let's go through this. Hey, welcome to the festival. They even have a gator driving a vehicle here. Look what I got for him. There you go. This is so cool, man. This is hilarious. I'll be back around to see you, all right? Yeah. a while, crocodile. There he goes. And look, Queen is dancing over there. <laughs> How cool is that? Only in Florida. Only in Florida. A gator riding a little car. <laughs> That's too funny. We have made it to the building that inside here, straight ahead, is the make your own strawberry shortcake. And it's six dollars if you pay for it here, or five fifty if you get it, get the ticket like we did from Publix. Oh, I gotta go cake. I gotta go cake. Look at me making my own shortcake. Look at this. Oh yeah, put it in strawberry. Go yeah. Oh yeah. Let's make sure he can get. <laughs> He's getting the whipped cream. Oh yeah. Little extra, little extra, Drew. Yes. And now look, so oh, these nice fresh strawberries. She did the perfect job. Nicely done. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you, Hey, how are you? Wonderful, how are you? Oh, and you guys have nice hats. Oh, I love your hat. Oh, thank you. You're like twins. Thank you, thank you. That was awesome. Seriously, and I want to let you guys know. So there was a long line for people waiting to pay to get in there, um, and we did not have to wait. If you have advanced tickets, we went right to the front of the line. Boom. In and out. We had a fast pass for strawberry shortcake, and I want to let you know two other things. One, you can do angel food cake or a biscuit. Uh, I'm an angel food cake guy myself, um, and also I think you get more bang for your buck here because you can put as many strawberries on as you want. I I didn't get greedy, but I put enough on, so I felt like I got my money's worth. But look at that! I can't wait to try it. This is gonna be delicious. Let's go. Let's go eat it. I am so excited to have strawberry shortcake here at the festival. Of course, it's the strawberry festival. You have to have it. And uh, strawberries are my favorite uh, favorite fruit of all time. It's game time, baby. So like I said earlier, uh, we went with the angel food cake for our strawberry shortcake. Now I'm curious, do you guys prefer biscuit or angel food? Let me know in the comments. Here we go, guys. Yum, yum, yum. 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 
Do you get some of the cake? I did. And I got a lot of those strawberries, man. <laughs> it's fresh. It is so fresh. And you know, the strawberries are not overly like sugary. Sometimes, sometimes people add too much sugar to it. It's just like, and it makes it not refreshing, you know? Mmm. So it's a winny winny? Winny winny chicken dinny. Make sure you do this because that was just super fun. And like I said, you can make it the way that you want it. If you don't want too many strawberries or you want a ton of strawberries like I did. Because I love strawberries. Delicious. And I think Queen V is enjoying herself over here. Oh, you is it delicious. So fresh, you are right. Fresh. Fresh, yes. It's not like overly sugary when and making it not fresh. Perfect. Would you get it again? Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> Every time. So good. Half of the reason why I'm going to stop here and get something to eat is because it says Spaghetti Eddie's. That is just the greatest name ever. I love that. Spaghetti Eddie's. But uh, this booth in particular has something that I'm very excited about. They have pickle pizza. So I'm going to get involved in some pickle pizza. I don't know if Queen's going to try it, but uh, I know I am. They've also got here at Spaghetti Eddie's, they have pizza on a stick. I'm probably going to have to come back a different day to try this out because I need that pickle pizza first, but I just want to show you guys some of the options that they have. I mean, look at it all. Lots of eating here. Oh, yes. yes. Everything is made right here, like the dough, everything. So it's fresh, fresh, fresh. Real is gonna enjoy his pizza here. I wanted to come in this little area. We got some shade coverage, but uh, like Queen was saying, we were talking to a, a worker that works for Spaghetti Eddie's. All of their stuff, the dough and everything, it is made there. Yeah, we saw the guy making it. Right. Yes, and uh, and then she was also showing me they have twelve dollar pasta and meatball dinner plates. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty big, and they come with, uh, I believe, a salad and breadsticks. Pretty darn good deal. Mm -hmm. And here at festivals, any type of carnival festival, you're not going to get good pricing, like 12 bucks for a big meal. But back to what's really important for right now. Look at this. Really... Look at this. I'm so excited. I have to let you know, I've never tried pickle pizza before. So I'm going to get that bite there with that pickle. So guys, here we go. Oh. Yeah, I'll do it this way. It'll be a little easier. And have dill too. I can see the dill all over the big sign. Drew's face is saying things right now. Oh, he wanna look at his right the eye. So for me, uh -huh. life changing. One hundred percent. No life, way. Life changing. Life changing. I'm not kidding. This thing is stellar. I can feel the deal. That's crazy. Oh, it's a white sauce the too. flavors. And you know what? Get that pickle sour thing out of your head. Okay. That's not really what's going on. It's it's more of like that that dill flavor with the pickle. Oh my. I'm actually sad now I have to share it with Queen B. Well, I gotta try it. <laughs> it's so good. The, the, the true test is right here, okay, because the, the woman, the, the worker said that people that didn't like, that don't like pickles actually ended up liking this, so. Here. I'm going to take a little bite. So I'm really curious to see, ah! Queen, <laughs> right. curious to see your take on it. I hope you do like it, I really do. I hope so too. Let's see. Mm. Oh wow. <laughs> it's good. Is That's it good? So good. No, is it good? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. It was life changing for me. It is. It doesn't really taste like the pickle sour. Yeah. It tastes like, like, more like the dill. Yeah, the dill, kind of, dill like flavor. Nice pickle, but not like a pickle in the jar, but no. it is pickle. But it's, good. but it's more dill, dill vibe I going on. Nice to that. Oh, look at yeah, how she did it. Whoa. <laughs> That pizza knocked my socks off so bad, I had to go and tell the, the owner and the workers how good the pizza was. And when I was uh, telling the worker how much I liked it, she goes, she had a customer come a couple days ago and told her what it actually tasted like. And I have to agree, it's exactly what she said. 
it's like having a Cuban sandwich without the meat. Yes. It's what it is. Cuban sandwich without the meat. So if you like Cubans, I almost guarantee you will love that pizza. Uh, but now I'm thirsty and we want to go get some iced tea. And we're going to show you guys. They have $1 iced teas here at the festival. A buck. How do you go wrong? Let's get it. Let's do it. $1 iced tea. You guys want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Come yeah. see us at the Strawberry Festival. Yes. That's what I'm telling them. They Freeze got it. Freeze tea booths. Freeze teas. Wait, Freeze. how many booths? We have three. three. You have three booths? Yeah. Okay. Freeze teas, and it's really good. We have sweet or unsweet. Okay. See, I'm, I'm a sweet kind of guy. Well, or at least as far as my tea. <laughs> you're going to love it. And we also have lemonade and strawberry lemonade. Holy cow. And, and strawberry creamy, tea. Creamy lemonade. Creamy lemonade? Yes. Yeah, it's right here. Oh my gosh. New at the festival, strawberry creamy lemonade and creamy lemon. Oh man. I might have to try that. Like, While well, Joy is getting the tea, look at this cup that you guys can get here in the festival. Strawberry! So cute! Hey, Drew! You got a show? Show the tea! I couldn't wait. It was just so delicious. So good, guys. Breeze tea and lemonade. You gotta go over to their booth. Seriously, a dollar for iced tea, and it's really good because it actually tastes like real tea. Like I, I don't like it when they add a bunch of like artificial flavors and stuff. You can tell this is the real deal. Mm. It's really good. Now, on to this right here, and this is a, if I remember correctly, a creamy strawberry iced tea. I think is what they called it. This is new to the festival this year. New to the festival this year. It looks, it looks beautiful. Well, now here we go. Let's give it a whirl. Oh man! And I realized it's creamy lemonade. Oh, that's what it is. Oh my! I just realized I don't care for lemonade normally. Creamy lemonade, it like takes that like acidity. It's not strawberry lemonade. It's creamy. It's creamy strawberry lemonade, I believe. I think it's delicious either way. So I had to verify. <laughs> it is strawberry cream lemonade. Highly recommend this, guys. It is delicious. Something different. I've never had this flavor before like this. Very smooth. Queen Bee needs to try this now. Okay, now that you say lemonade, it makes sense because it have a lemon. It's got a lemon in it, yeah. Let's try Lemon with cream. I want to see her take on it. Oh my god, it's good. It's different. Yeah? I never have anything like this before. Like, I mean, I have a strawberry lemonade, but they taste totally different. But it's not creamy no. strawberry this lemonade. It's more like a Fruit Loops, a little bit Fruit Loops. It does, you know what? It does taste right? like Fruit Loops a little bit, yes. Yep. Definitely, definitely get it again. Yes. I think it is now time to go head over and check out the little dog show that they have. And I did find out that apparently these dogs and these folks were on America's Got Talent. So that's pretty cool. So let's go check that out right now.
amount of food and different booths they have here at the festival is insane. You will not go hungry. Great stuff here. So much food, food, food everywhere. Look at this cute ice cream place. Check it out. Look at that, they have frozen bananas, frozen cheesecake. Amazing. It has so many flavors. It has so much okay. food here. It's know. insane. The amount of food here is just off the charts. Like you. There's, you can't try everything, man. So you really got to be like uh, picky about it. You know what I mean? You got to like pick and choose. Your favorites. And Drew. Oh, I that. Think it's fine. That is a very big wheel. That's so, literally what it's called. Are we gonna do it? I we think gonna do we're it? gonna have to go on it. It's seven dollars, I think. Seven dollars or seven fifty to go on. Okay. Just so you guys know, in case you want to go. And I haven't been on a Ferris wheel in years. But I think this is going to be a cool shot of the whole like uh, festival area. So let's go uh, jump on the Berry Big Wheel. Let's go! So we are at the highest point right now. Look at all the fairgrounds. This is, oh my, you can't tell through there, but the stadium is over there. I'm not necessarily afraid of heights, but wow is this high. This is high, man. Good golly. Probably $7 for like three times. Three, three trips around, yes. It is so high. This is so high. If you are afraid of heights, seriously though, like don't, don't come on this. Wow. <laughs> like I'm okay, but it is. Well, what a gorgeous view though. What a gorgeous view. And what's funny is the festival, you know, grounds actually look a lot smaller from up here. It does. No, but actually <laughs> goes all the way in the back though. Huh? Yes. This is crazy cool though. It is fun. Do I think it's worth $7? 100% I would pay the money to, to come up. Look at this other side. You got the I4. Yeah, we're we're stopped right now because they're loading up other guests or unloading. Man, this is our third time around. It really doesn't get any uh, easier, <laughs> you know, because it is. It's a it's a very it's a very not normal feeling to be up this high. So here for a while now. <laughs> the thing is swaying. The we thing is right. swaying. Oh, we are the, at the highest point. And it's like. Everybody seems to have been fun in there. Because yeah. okay. they're all on the ground. They got their feet on the ground. Okay, they're <laughs> moving now. That was quite an experience. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, very high. But while we were up there, Queen noticed we believe there's some pig racing at one of the areas, so we're trying to uh, skedaddle over to that area to give you guys some pig racing, so wish us luck. I think we can do it. I think we can do it, let's ride. I didn't know pigs were like gonna go I know, swimming. swimming. <laughs> uh, but we got very lucky, guys. Seriously, that was the last race, race demonstration yeah. that they were doing for this time. 
Uh, they're gonna do it, I'm guessing, intermittently throughout the day. So, but last year we did a video here at the, the festival and we missed the pig racing. But we did it this year. We did it! We gave you guys some pig racing. That was so much fun. Lots of rides also for, you know, the little kids, teenagers, you name it. They got real mellow rides, wild rides, and they also have a strawberry ride, which is so cute. So you will definitely have some fun on, you know, the rides here at the festival. Queen and I both felt it was definitely a must to show the donut. It's all I can smell is the this the sugary goodness in here. And look what I just realized. It's a strawberry shortcake, but instead of a biscuit or an angel food cake, it's a donut. Next time we come, I gotta get that. I have to. We got a strawberry head, looking amazing. There's just strawberries walking around the festival. They have some buildings like this, a few buildings that have different types of vendors selling all kinds of different things. Just keep that in mind. Like right over here, I believe these are dog treats. You know, a bunch of different stuff. They're dog treats, I know. Like in case you needed an awesome strawberry festival shirt. That is so cool. Got a little tie-dye going on there. One with a bunch of glitter on it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Berry Fest 2024. Great shirts. Bunch of merch, a little tank top some hats so you can get yourself some really cool you know merch here at the festival out of this world what and they've actually had a couple of these little uh kind of like a photo op area you know like in the background that one's actually moving eating strawberries what are those oranges doing here this is the strawberry festival Strawberry bread. Strawberry bread. Everything. Strawberry. That's crazy. I, I, we might have to get a bag of them cookies. They're calling my data. We just stopped by this booth. How Florida and how awesome is this flag right here? <laughs> I love it. It's like, yes, it's like the set. It, it's squatchy. It's squanchy. The original Florida man. These are hilarious. I love it. I love it. Small batch, big flavor. <laughs> that is amazing. Look at this case right here. I'm not as excited, but I know a lot of people are. Uh, a lot of people love uh, chocolate covered strawberries. It's not my thing, but I know it's a lot of people's thing. So I wanted to show you guys. They are beautifully, beautifully decorated. So good looking. Now I need to inform you all. Smitty's original hand dip buttermilk corn dogs. We came here earlier and there was a gigantic line. We've been here for a few hours and the line is still gigantic. I asked one of the workers that was in, that works the festival in the line for this corn dog. I said, what is the deal here? And they told me, these were her words, the best corn dog you will ever have in your entire life. <laughs> yes, a couple people. Said you gotta commit to the line, but they said it's worth it. So in case you guys are coming, uh, maybe you wanna wait in line for a corn dog. We're not gonna do it today, but we might come back and try it. This is another bit of information I want to give you guys. This over here is like the big auditorium stage area. This is where all of the uh, acts are showing up. Like I'm talking uh, Cody Johnson, a big country singer. Like there's very big acts here. And you come over here to see them. It is a separate ticket. You'll have to look it up. Prices vary. Uh, but some really good names in music are gonna be playing this year's uh, festival. So Queen wanted to get in line because she wanted to spin the wheel and win a strawberry. That's what she wants to do. That's a good spin. You gotta spin it to win it, right? Spin to win it. That's right. Oh, she's gonna break it. <laughs> Come on. Come on, brand new car, brand new car. I don't know, the people down that way help you with brand new car. Right? What do you get, what do you get? What? Oh, no. Oh. But you, you can't take the iPad. You can't take the iPad. Not the iPad. That one's not free. 
Is that stressful? Yeah, they're both cushy. That one okay, is cushy. Okay, I can put that for my Yeah, she gets, when she gets stressed out, you need yeah, something. There you go. Thank you guys. I'm sorry too. I did it easy. I didn't sure, do it down. Well, I'm a lot of muscle or heavy here. I've done it a couple times. A couple times. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, legit. Yeah, yeah. All right, what do I want? What, do I want? what about that? Yeah, you're gonna take this and this up. You know what? I'm gonna go keychain. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Thank, Thank you, so you guys. Much. Oops, I did it again. I got this for the second year in a row. Queen went with you. You got better bang for your buck. It's a bigger yeah. strawberry. Look at this. Look at this. I got the yeah, little well, itty bitty one. For your keychain. For your keychain. Yeah. For yeah. I got a keychain, but oh, I'm feeling stressed yeah. right now. <laughs> that works. I just need to show this for my fellow corn <laughs> fans they're spelling corn except for the backwards R like the band kettle corn <laughs> I wonder if Jonathan Davis owns this booth maybe you never know so now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the festival we get to go see some livestock I love animals man look at all these beautiful beautiful cows I love it They are so beautiful, and and the smell, the farm smell, I love it. I really do. Reminds me of back home in Maine. Look at this little guy. Look at his hairdo. That's a fashionista. He really is a fashionista. Look at him. <laughs> that is hilarious. Man, lots and lots and lots of poultry in this area as you can tell it's gigantic and i think i hear some goats I, he's not even little he's huge it almost looks like a uh, a peacock a little bit and that guy right over there the orange guy that orange guy right there is pretty much just like the same type of goat. look at these little guys they look so fuzzy those are so cute. They look it looks less of like feathers and more like a like a bunny. <laughs> Alright, that's what I'm talking about, buddy. Look at the little bunnies. They're so cute. This one actually has like uh I think it's a calico cat. The type of like fur on there. And these little guys over here, you just oh look at that face. That face is adorable. Look at that little guy. There he goes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to film through the uh, through the grate here. Hey, buddy, what's going on? But they just got uh, they just got sheared, so they're uh, they got a fresh cut, you know. Fresh hair. So that is going to do it for our video today here at the Florida Strawberry Festival. So much fun. Did you have a good time? I did. Once again, so much fun. So much to do. It's like you need to come here a couple times. Multiple, Multiple times. times. Like there's so much. Honestly, I'm serious. There's so much we weren't able to show you. We just didn't have time. Uh, speaking of things we didn't have time for, uh, with the animals, they have like a showroom where they bring out the animals, yeah. like the goats that they had, the cows and things like that. So uh, look out for that if you wanted to see that like in like a show, a show type setting. Uh, so we missed out on that, but we did not miss out on the, the pickled pizza. Oh, the pickled pizza. Oh my goodness. That was a surprise for me. It was, a, right. honestly, it was a surprise like, for hello. me. Hello. Like, hello. Oh. So, so awesome. Uh, I, it's, it just blew me away. Life-changing pizza. I'm not even kidding. Uh, but guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys get a chance to come out here for the festival. Like I said in the beginning, in case you missed it, to save yourself $5, make sure you go to Publix to get your tickets before you come here yeah. and get your uh, make your own strawberry uh, shortcake ticket in advance as well because you won't have to yes. wait in the huge I line. Know, that was good. Very good. I, you know what? It was the girl at Publix. Big shout out to her for uh, pretty much persuading me to get it. So, <laughs> but guys, thank you so much. Uh, until we see you next time, remember there's only one way to live. In the moment. It's in the moment with strawberries and yes. everything.